Hey guys, Daniel here, and today we're going to talk about the Oppo R15 Pro. Now this phone goes about 520 USD, so it's a mid-tier phone. So let's talk about usability. Now when I first used this phone, my instinct was this feels like an iPhone. So if you are an Apple user and you're thinking about switching to an Android, this could be an ideal phone for you. Now this phone is running off of the Snapdragon 660 with 6 gigs of RAM. And going through with the animations of that folders, multitasking, going through um, apps and opening apps, it feels like an iOS. So it's super smooth and I rarely feel any lag at all. And if it does lag, it happens so fast that I don't even notice it. The screen is pretty big, it's over 6 inches, and it has a 1080p resolution. So when you're watching content and playing games, it is a joy to use. So we attempted to switch to Android P and it was recommended not to because it was not stable enough for daily use but with my experience of android p it's gonna take away from the ios feel using this phone moving on to gaming now overall it's a good experience it can easily handle lightweight games and moving on to harder games like pubg it was recommended at medium settings it was smooth overall but i switched it to high and i barely uh, experienced any lag Battery life is up next, and this one has 3430 mAh battery, so it's a little bit more than uh, average phones out there. So even if you were watching uh, YouTube videos for you know an hour or so, or playing some games, it can still last you throughout the day. Now if you're a lighter phone user like I am, then it can easily last you throughout the day. Maybe you'll end up with about 30 to 40 percent, but either way, this phone will still be charged overnight. Taking pictures on this phone, it's a good experience. It's very simple to use, and I would say it's good when you like to take pictures of people and um, objects like plants, and you know any any objects that you would like to take pictures of. That's pretty good, especially with the um, telephoto mode. It does zoom in quite a bit and then you do get like a little bit of extra bokeh. Of course this phone also has portrait mode as well so you can take advantage of even having more bokeh mode with uh, shooting a person. Features is up next and the first one I would like to talk about is the face detection. It works pretty well and it's pretty quick. Even if my face was behind the camera and it grabs a little bit of my face it does still work. This phone is also IP67 certified so that is also great to have. For the cons, there is only one that sticks out for me, and that is the charging port. It is still micro USB. So my overall experience of using this phone is very simple and easy to use, especially if you are coming from an Apple phone, this thing is a breeze to transition to. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching, and remember to always like, subscribe, favorite this video, and always enjoy your entertainment. You are in great danger. Well, they're not